Have you been feeling really down or more stressed than usual? Well, you're not alone. Many young people get caught in a cycle of sadness, worry and insecurity. For some, these feelings are related to something that's happened in their life. You know, exam stress, family conflict or perhaps friendship hassles. But for others, it might be because they're experiencing depression or anxiety. Depression is when the feelings of sadness last longer than normal, affect most parts of your life and stop you enjoying the things that you used to, not just when you've had a couple of bad weeks. Anxiety is a normal emotion, but when it gets in the way of what you want to do and takes over your thoughts, then it may be an anxiety disorder. My world was grey. Nothing was fun anymore. I didn't expect it to happen to me. It came out of nowhere. As soon as I was with other people, I'd freak out. I couldn't even go to school without it being a major drama. Depression takes hold of you and it follows you everywhere. It got so bad, I couldn't get out of bed in the morning. Depression or anxiety can really impact how you live your life, your study, your work and your relationships with friends and family. But anxiety and depression can be managed. Some things you can do for yourself, but sometimes it's useful to get some help from others. Young people often ask themselves, are these feelings I'm having a sign that I need extra help, or are they just part of the normal feelings that everybody goes through during a difficult time? There are some things that you should look out for. One of the things is if you're not able to function in your usual roles. And what this means is that you can't take part in your family life, in your school life, in your friendships and in your hobbies and activities in the way you usually do. Another sign is if you're getting really down on yourself. You're feeling very critical of yourself and like you don't like yourself at all and you feel like your future is bleak. There are some specific symptoms that are associated with anxiety on one hand and depression on the other. Some of the symptoms that are associated with anxiety are worrying, worrying all the time and worrying about a wide range of things. Another sign of problems with anxiety is avoiding things. Avoiding things because you're too afraid to try them or too afraid to do them. The third sign of anxiety is someone's experiencing what we call panic attacks. And these are very sudden experiences of anxiety that have a lot of physical symptoms. On the other hand, depression is associated with particular symptoms. These can include things like problems with eating, which can be either eating too much or not feeling like eating at all, problems with sleeping, especially problems either falling off to sleep or problems staying asleep once you get to sleep. So what do you do if you think you might need some help or if someone else thinks you might need some help? If the problems aren't too severe, then self-help might be a good approach. Get good quality information. Find out the facts about the problems you're dealing with. Keep active. Keep doing the things you would normally do. Reach out to other people. Talk to people about what you're going through especially friends and family. They may have dealt with some of these problems themselves. They might have good ideas about things you can do. If things are a bit more serious, then you might want to go and talk to someone and get some counselling. Life can be busy and challenging, working out where you want to be and how you're going to get there. If depression or anxiety begin to get in the way, there are things you can do to get back on track Getting help and support can improve how you feel about day-to-day -day things, give you strategies to overcome challenges, and make you feel more optimistic about the future. Remember, you're not alone. I've finally been able to ask for help. It's not easy. I mean, I still want to hide from the world and pretend nothing is wrong with me. But I'm getting courage, you know, from my friends and my family. It takes a lot of time and hard work, but things get better.